You're listening to the Business Communicators. Thomas and Hattie, it's probably one of my favorite moments of the show and the podcast, and that's Wednesday Wisdom. And for our audience out there, we want to thank everyone that has supported us with Wednesday Wisdom on social media. And of course, last week, we posted a question, and uh, the question was, what has been your greatest self-discovery? And Matt Castile, who also left us feedback last week, uh, so that his greatest self-discovery would have to be music. From a young age, he always wanted to, had an interest in playing some type of instrument. It wasn't until high school that a great friend of his brought a guitar over, and the rest is history. He learned to play one by Metallica. So, Matt, thank you so much for sharing your insights on your greatest self-discovery. And uh, it's that time of the week where we pick up the writing prompt book, we scroll through it, pick a random writing prompt, extemporaneous speaking, whatever you want to call it, and we give our takes. So, Hattie, I want you to tell me when to stop. Stop. All right. Thomas, left or right? Left. All right, Hattie, you've got two choices here. One or two. Always. Number one. Number one. This is a good one. So our prompt for this week is name something you could not be objective about. Not be objective about? Name something that you could not be objective about. Thomas, I'm going to go with you first, because we went with Hattie first last time. You know, it's it's interesting that uh, growing up, I, I'm an Eagle Scout. I was in the Boy Scouts, and, and the Scout Oath and Scout Law still mean a lot to me. Um, all my decisions are based off of trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Um, and so, so when it comes to those 12 things i i believe very deeply in, in those 12 things um and, and so i cannot be objective when people are trying to not be one of those 12 things and i know some of those might ruffle some feathers like reverence and i'm not saying you know choose, choose my religion i'm just saying believe in something bigger than yourself you know honesty trustworthy you have it or you don't um obedient following the rules you know i'm also very much thomas Paine uh fan um of the uh, of the civil or the 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 protesting the the martin luther king you know let's change the rules that need to be changed but we still need to be be obedient in how we follow to to change those processes so so that's what i cannot be objective about is is those 12 things are very core near dear to my heart there you go thomas Boy Scouts, Eagle Scout, coming through. Hattie, what is something that you cannot be objective about? Trust and fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the best fried chicken? I need to know this one. She my said husband, it two weeks ago on the podcast. My she, husband makes the best fried chicken. <laughs> I, I asked her, because she mentioned that, like something that she couldn't go a week without, I think was the, the subject. And I asked, I was like, where is the best fried chicken? And she said, my house without hesitation before i could even finish a sentence she gave me the answer i wasn't on that podcast i was out so so i guess my invite for fried chicken at her house got you lost were the there room. you weren't listening that your boy no, scout didn't no, come out no. that day he wasn't there mark morrison mark morrison <gasps> was on that one. Oh, I'm he, sorry, he was Thomas. he was doing you know eagle scout he was doing eagle scout projects <laughs> at his family <laughs> I, was, I was doing family i was doing some giving back to the, with the family and spending family okay time. okay i get okay but yeah i love fried chicken and not objective about that at all and the other is trust uh it takes a lot to earn my trust because i don't trust i don't trust easily in fact, I, 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 it's in my mantra, don't trust it. you don't trust man. You just trust the man above. But um, the one thing about it is that once you breach my trust, it's hard to get it back. It's over, yeah. It's over. I am, I'm no black or white with me. It, it reminds me of that uh, business statement of, you know, um, in God we trust, all others must provide data. <laughs> I've never heard that before. I have, and only Thomas would bring it up. Thomas is the I'm the numbers guy. We've had this conversation. (laughs) Do not put yourself, baby, in the corner with the numbers. You do a lot more than that, all right? I know, I know, but you you trust the numbers. You trust the you trust the numbers that No, you can skew the numbers. Every number can't we we can debate on that, bro. Hey look, eighty three (laughs) percent of stats are made up. Okay. No, it's ninety four. We had that conversation last week. See? Yes. See? (laughs) 
No subjectivity. And, and no next objectivity week is 63, there. so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So something that I can't be objective about. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go similar to Hattie. I'm gonna go respect and kindness. I think that uh, you've got to have mutual respect for people, whether it is someone above you, someone below you, someone on the same level as you. You've got to have respect, but the respect also has to be earned. Like it, it, it can't. You can't just respect somebody because you know they might be the head of your organization. Like they have to treat people with respect. Is what I'm trying to say. And people that do not treat people with respect frustrate the hell out of me. And it's not that hard to be kind to people, to value each person's opinion, to listen to people. That's one of the things that was so frustrating to me, really starting with the 2016 election on, is people were afraid to have conversations in this country. And when they did have conversations, respect would just go out the window. And I don't care what side of the political aisle you're on, what your social ideologies are, your economic ideologies are. If we can all come together and have conversations, this country is going to be such a better place. So that that's my two cents. And the other thing that I can't be objective on is my hatred for the University of Texas. <laughs> Some of you might have seen this mask, and it says, uh, don't let coronavirus distract you from the fact that Texas lost to Kansas in football in 2016. So, I, I think you have another mask that, that also points out that same loss uh, in 2016. Um, he's just jealous that, you know, the Longhorn Network gets a lot of millions of dollars given to the university for them I'm doing nothing. I'm not jealous. Nobody and, watches and there, There's nothing to be jealous about. <laughs> and there is nothing at that school to be jealous about. Money exactly. otherwise. They, they get Please. paid whether people are watching pick it or a, not. Pick, pick another one, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> another one what? <laughs> well, pick another sentence, bro. <laughs> on that note, on that note, we want you to leave your comments and feedback below. So if you can, drop a comment, whether you're watching on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, drop a comment below. We'll read some of the best on next week's episode of the podcast. But like, comment, share, share the podcast with all of your friends, all of your neighbors. Uh, invite them to wa- follow us and like us on social media as well. But until next time. We'll see you next week. You've been listening to the Business Communicators.